Go out there and find a congregation, a church, whatever the name, that's warm and welcoming. Worship services that are highly charged. A preacher that is deeply motivational. And everything feels good. And that's the fundamental basis of religion as far as most people are concerned. There's no depth. There's no scripture. There's no truth. All of that is lacking. This seems to be what most are searching for today. And the discovery is far, far afield from what the truth would reveal to someone who is searching even though they themselves are in a situation of, of being lost. Here's the lost Jesus, and the lost Jesus suggests lessons to me. It suggests to me that people are lost, and people outside of Christ are lost. Sometimes the light goes off, and there's a realization that something needs to be done and when that light does go off the realization sets in the diligent search incurs the discovery is to search and to dig out deep truths of God's word to understand them to apply them and to follow them and to let them be the light to your path from that day forward now I hope that we'll learn the lesson of the lost Jesus. Don't let supposition take too much of your time, too much of your effort. Move beyond that. Move beyond it to truth. You believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God? Would you let that conviction, belief, take root in your heart? Would you let it sink deeply enough to change the way you think and the way you act? Would you let it al allow you to search the scriptures, go back to Jerusalem, where Jesus is, where his church is found, and begin a diligent search of study and application and learning and growth? Now, this story has a happy outcome. I'd like to think that your story has a happy outcome as well. If it hasn't up to this day, it can tonight. If you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, if you'll with the mouth confess your conviction that He is, if you'll repent of your sins, if you'll obey Him in immersion for the remission of your past sins, rise as a new creature, and from that day forward, Walk in the light as he is in the light. And through your teaching and through your influence, bring others to the Lord. Why not tonight? And why not, if you need to be restored, why not while we stand, while we sing this song to encourage you? Have him bear your burden, carry all your load. Let him have his way with thee. His power can make you what you ought to be. His blood can cleanse your heart and make you free. His love can fill your soul and you will see. T'was best for him to have his way with thee. Would you have him make you free and follow at his call? Would you know the peace that comes by giving all? Would you have him save you so that you need never fall? Let him have his way with thee. His power 
can make you what you ought to be. His blood can cleanse your heart and make you free. His love can fill your soul and you will see. T'was best for him to have his way with thee. Would you in his kingdom find a place of constant rest? Would you prove him true, each providential test? Would you in his service labor always at your best? Let him have his way with thee. His power can make you what you ought to be. His blood can cleanse your heart and make you free. His love can fill your soul and you will see t'was best for him to have his way with thee. Okay. You have something to say? Please have something to say. Let me say just a couple of things as we dismiss. The, the first is um, tomorrow night again at 7. Uh, all are welcome again. We know that Wednesday night many have obligations to be at their home congregation, but tomorrow night at 7. But also in the morning, we have a Tuesday morning Bible class. We usually divide up men and women, but tomorrow uh, we will be together here in the auditorium uh, for a class, and my, my dad will be teaching that in the morning as well. Uh, so if you have an opportunity tomorrow, if you're free, come and be with us for a class, and then tomorrow night. Have you heard about Thank Singing? It's, uh, we counted up yesterday. It's just nine weeks away, uh, November the 18th, Sunday afternoon at 2 o'clock. We would love to have everyone here to be a part of that. If you've not been here, I know you will enjoy it. If you've been here, I know you'll be back. We look forward to seeing you then. As we prepare to dismiss tonight, number 707 will be our final song, and after that we'll be dismissed in prayer. We'll sing the first and third stanzas. To Christ be loyal and be true, his panoply unfurled, and born aloft to his secured the conquest of the world. To Christ the Lord be true, for he will go with you. Help you all your conflicts through to Christ the Lord be true. To Christ be loyal and be true in noble service prove your faith and your vitality the fervor of your love. To Christ the Lord be true, for he will go with you and help you all your conflicts through to Christ the Lord be true. Let us pray. Father God, as we come to the end of this Bible study and worship service tonight, we pray, Heavenly Father, that our hearts have been seeking and we have been filled with your word tonight. Help us all not to just listen and hear, but also to be doers of your word. Help us to be faithful to your truth of the gospel and help us to be faithful to your church. Father God, it is always so wonderful to be 
in your presence as saints assemble together in your name. Father, we pray that you would be with the elders here as they shepherd the flock and be with elders uh, wherever we may worship and where is our home congregation. Help us to hold up their hands and to not uh, be a burden to them, but to be a great encouragement to them. Father God, we pray that you'd forgive us of our sins and shortcomings and pray that we would always be faithful to you and at the end of our lives that we will hear you say, well done, good and faithful servant. Enter into the joys of your Lord. We pray that you would be with Dave and David as they labor, labor with this congregation and we appreciate these good men and the encouragement they give to so many of us on a weekly basis. Be with us as we leave the building tonight and help us have safety as we travel back to our destinations tonight. In Jesus' name we pray and amen.